I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. I pray to Almighty to offer blessings to all of you and fulfill all your wishes. I am very thankful to all my subscribers and I hope I will be getting your support like this in future as well. In this video, we will only discuss the impact of Saturn Ketu conjunction in the first house of birth chart. There are different sections in this video. In these different sections, we will discuss what is the first house of birth chart, what is the meaning of this conjunction, the impact of this conjunction on your family life, on your career, on your health, what will be the positive and the negative impact of this conjunction and what are the best remedies for this conjunction. So let's move forward and first discuss what is the first house of birth chart. The first house is also known as the ascendant or the body of the person. This gives the basic information about a person's built body type and immunity. In case the horoscope is for an item then it is about the overall idea of the item could be a country vehicle etc this is the house of the overall body and faces type and the complexion of the person as well it denotes the east side of the place where the person is born this house denotes the beginning of life where the soul takes birth in the form of a body so what is the saturn ketu conjunction in astrology this is a very intense conjunction as both the planets have a separative tendencies and capabilities with other factors included. This conjunction brings a sense of acceptance in the native towards the factuality of disconnection. One might live very normally without realizing the depth of this characteristic in oneself in relation to rest of society. Generally, it is said that planets mature at certain ages which means that planets start to give what they are capable of giving in a particular horoscope after a certain number of years. Saturn matures after one complete cycle that is at least 30 years. So it is said to be maturing around 35 to 36 years. However, in conjunction with Rahu or Ketu, this maturity is delayed and Saturn also achieves its maturity post 45 plus years of age. Wherever this conjunction is happening, there could be some kind of stillness in the characteristics as shown by that house and the zodiac sign as well. This will also result in an anxiety in the person and an inability to express as well. One will keep looking for something or other related to the house or zodiac that could give the feeling of completeness. Now let's discuss Saturn Ketu conjunction general characteristic in the first house. Saturn is a limiting energy which constricts any expansion of qualities good or bad wherever Saturn is placed. Thus in a manner this saves the house as well. At the same time if Saturn is malefic for the ascendant then the negative qualities will also tend to prevail. Such individuals are more culpable to get affected by the negative energies of this conjunction and a person could live their lives in a bohemian nature. Natives will like to be in their own company and not let others come into their personal space very easily. Childhood of such individuals could be difficult due to a lack of socializing with other children because they would maintain their boundaries. This person will be more like a mystery themselves as seen by other people. Since Saturn is the owner of two planets in the horoscope that is the 10th house and the 11th house in the natural order of the houses that is the Kal Purush Kundali. The effects of general 10th house and 11th house could also be seen with this placement. This would make a person very serious in their profession and at the same time Ketu could add resistance by giving the individual laziness. A person would work very hard and would be influenced by the elder siblings very much. There could be a lot of interference from the elders in their life. The hard work given by Saturn and the laziness given by the Ketu will make it very difficult for the person to achieve success or fame very easily. Both planets relate to the karma of a person. Ketu has the records of karmas of past life and Saturn have the charge for the karmas and judgment for this life. This too can keep a person keep thinking about the past which is why the person can be bohemian in their lifestyle. Now let's discuss its impact on the career. Since the combination is happening in the first house, it affects the very basic personality and on top of that, Saturn also aspects the 10th house of one's profession. The placement of Saturn and Ketu in the first house of birth chart can have a significant impact on an individual's career. 
This placement may indicate challenges and obstacles in the area of self-identity and self-expression, which can affect the individual's professional life. However, Saturn and Ketu can also provide opportunities for hard work, discipline and spiritual growth. Suitable career options for individuals with this placement include career in law, accounting and finance, healthcare, engineering or architecture and teaching as well. Let's move forward and discuss about its impact on married life. The placement of Saturn and Ketu in the first house of birth chart can have an impact on an individual's married life. This placement may indicate delays or challenges in finding a suitable partner or in forming a deep and meaningful connection with one's spouse. Individuals with this placement may have a tendency to be reserved or introverted, which can make it difficult for them to express their emotions or connect with others on a deeper level. They may also face obstacles in their relationships and may struggle with commitment. However, if the individual can overcome these challenges and develop a strong sense of self-identity and confidence, they can find success in their married life. They may attract partners who are disciplined and hardworking, and they may find compatibility through shared interests and values. Now let's move forward and discuss about its impact on health. The placement of Saturn and Ketu in the first house of birth chart can have an impact on individual's health and well-being. This placement may indicate a tendency towards chronic or long-term health issues, particularly related to the bones, teeth and skin. Individuals with this placement may also be prone to anxiety and stress-related disorders such as insomnia and digestive issues. They may have a tendency to overwork themselves and neglect their physical and emotional needs which can lead to health problems. Now let's move forward and discuss about the positive impact of this placement in the first house. A strong sense of discipline and self-control. The ability to overcome obstacles and challenges through hard work. A natural inclination towards spirituality and self-awareness. A deep understanding of the importance of responsibilities and accountability. The potential for growth and transformation through self-reflection and self-improvement. Now let's move forward and discuss about its negative impact. Natives can be too introverted depending on the degree-wise closeness between the two planets. Person can suffer from depression and anxiety. Such a person can have many short-lived relationships due to the Rahu in the seventh house. There can be too much confusion in the person. They can be adamant about their viewpoint and be ready to argue if provoked. There can be frequent arguments with the spouse affecting the partnership very badly. This conjunction is not very favorable for the married life. It may create huge ups and downs in married life. Now let's move forward and discuss about those most important remedies when Saturn and Ketu conjunction is there in the first house. Such a person should worship Lord Shiva. Such a person should keep fasting on Mondays and offer water to Lord Shiva. Such a person should keep a silver pot filled with raw honey in the kitchen. Such a person should donate clothes to needy person once in a month on Saturday. So that was all about the Saturn Ketu conjunction in the first house of birth chart. We will discuss further about what will be its impact in different houses in our next videos. So thanks for watching the video. May Almighty bless you always.